Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's second topic Bateman is working out. Look, you know, for every, I want, I want to make sure that I, I really clear, make myself very clear of what I'm saying because a lot of times what I say gets misconstrued and lost in the ether of, you know, sound effects and jokes. Anybody that watches this channel knows exactly what I think about Rashad Bateman. They know exactly who I compared him to and what his comp was. I said that I felt like he's a faster or his, his, or, uh, Let's say what he could be, what his potential looks like is him being a faster Stefan Diggs. That's big shoes because we're talking about a guy that led the NFL in receptions since he was over there in Buffalo, right? And I think he was like 30 yards. Big shoes. Stefan Diggs is legit. So a lot of times when I'm speaking on it, people are just like, oh, you know, because of how I'm saying, look, you know, I don't trust him the way how everybody else does. They're like, oh, it's because you don't like it. I'm like, no, I'm looking at this from a historical standpoint. Thus far, the only season he's been able to stay healthy for the one season where he barely where his snap count and his receptions and target shares was cut by uh, into thirds. You know what I'm saying? Like his usage dropped. Like, ridiculously. And that was the only season he could really stay healthy for the for the most of the season. So what, and what I'm getting at is, so what happened was there was a video of him working out. And I'm going to play the video right here on the side while I'm speaking. You can see him right here. And once again, like I said, I think he looks so fluid, man. The guy, he has the talent. He has the size. He has the speed. He is a weapon. The problem is the best ability, no matter how talented you are, is availability. In three seasons, three seasons, if I'm not mistaken, it's a 1,160 yards combined. He has. And five touchdowns. In three seasons. You're going to look at me and say, I want him definitively to be the second best receiver on this team. Y'all, y'all not serious. See, this is, this is me liking a player and understanding what has happened and saying, look, we have to have fail safes. There's a reason why even when uh, last year, this uh, last year started, right? I said, look, I want weapons for Lamar. But if I had to choose between protection and uh, weapons, I'm choosing protection 10 out of 10. Because at least it keeps Lamar uh, 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 non-injured and he could play the full season and even with the weapons he had, he could still cause damage. It's context. Look at the fluidity of his leg, the way he can turn his hips, the way he drops down. Like The man, is a, like he has the ability to be a machine. He just has not been available. Now, everyone's thinking that this is going to be the year that he's available, right? <clears throat> okay, if. We still do not know if there's not going to be no repercussions for the Zay Flowers incident. You're telling me you're okay going into the season with Zay, uh, without a Zay Flowers, with a Bateman, an Aguilar, and a Tylon Wallace? Stop acting like I'm tripping. I'm not, and I love Bateman. And if y'all sitting there like, yo, I trust all three of them, that's all we need. Shut up. You're lying. You're lying. Because I know that if it was any other quarterback, you'd be like, no, they're not even helping him. But because he always proven he could do more than a lot of them, y'all like, oh, well, he's great, so he can make it work. Come on now, man. Like, Like, I don't understand the hatred that Bateman gets, but I also don't understand the... The unguided, like, protection that he gets. Like, look, we all want Bateman to succeed in this league. He's Listen, the guy is talented, undeniably talented. But can he stay healthy? Can he stay focused? Like, those are still questions. He's going into his fourth season. Those are still question marks. 
And like I said, I just want to bring up a historical fact. I remember when we got rid of Hollywood and we said Bateman was going to take over as the one. And I looked at everybody and I'm like, bro, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Everyone's like, oh, he'll be he, he, the injury. I'm like, we don't know how he's going to come back from that injury. Exactly what I said. You could check everything on Twitter, whatever it is. You want to check me out if you think I'm exaggerating. The man got hurt again and everyone said, Demarcus Robinson is good enough to get us to where we want to go. So that's why I look at some of y'all and I be like, bro, y'all not serious, bro. Y'all not serious. <laughs> y'all don't care about winning. Like, there's no way that y'all can. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I, I'm happy that he's that he's up and moving. I'm happy that, you know what I'm saying, he looks good. He looks really good. But, you know, to be, uh, to be determined, TBD. Is he going to go work out with Lamar in Miami this season? We don't know. Build a more rapport with him? We don't know. Is he going to be able to stay healthy this season? We don't know. Because he's gonna because if he's the second receiver on this team, he's gonna uh garner more of the target shares. There's no more OBJ eating into that target share. And mind you, on tape, there's a lot of times he was open, but I'm looking at it like, bro, but we've seen on tape you pull up on routes. We've seen it. Quit on routes. And that's at the beginning of the game where they're targeting him. So it's like. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's there's some unexcusable things that have went on with them. I'm just hoping that he stays focused and, you know, it is what it is. But I'd rather Bateman as my third as of right now. If he makes big plays and stuff like that and you're like, wow, he's really showing out, then during the season you can be like, you know what, he's earned that. But until then, no. That's why I'm saying it's either draft or go get one of these other guys that hopefully will be cut June 1st. Like right now, Debo's out. Uh, there's there's some there's some rumors about Debo. There's rumors about DK Metcalf. Like, come on now, bro. Like, that's what I'm looking at. But as a third receiver, bring bait all day for me. You know what I'm saying? And that's no hate. That's no hate. You know what I'm saying? But what do you guys think? Do you think he looks great in that video? Do you think he looks fluid in that video? Let me know what you think down in that comment section. If you think he should be our number two or our number three wide receiver on this team. You know what I'm saying? And be please, please be respect, well, respectful to other people when you're um, commenting, all right? But as always, that's episode of the Wonder King. Shut <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You don't love the comments. And if you haven't done so already, check out the Wonder Control Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content, goodness, William Fear Consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, right? Bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app, cash app located in the description of every video that we do, and the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show, super easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show, this is your host, Nectar, signing off, and as always, you know my slogan, peace, and I am out of here, huh? Yeah! Finish him, daddy. Oh!